Heidi hey, how's it going? My name is Lauren May and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some summer church outfit ideas. Now I say that term very loosely because every person has their own walk with fashion and modesty and what they're willing to wear to church or not. Um, but this is just my opinion and some of the things that I kind of use as a guideline when wearing things to church. I thought this would be helpful for the majority of Christians or whoever else who may be um, trying to find outfits that they can wear in the summer when it's really, really hot to church so they can still kind of maintain uh, a sense of decorum or modesty for a lack of the better word but I really don't like that word because there's so many negative connotations to it these days so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, let's get straight into it so the first outfit that I have to share with you is probably for those days that it's not extremely hot but you you know you're probably going to start feeling hot at church with all those people and in one room. Um, and that would be with some jeans, a singlet top and a, a jacket of some sort. I like a good denim jacket. I've got a yellow one so I love to pop that in for a pop of colour. As you can see here, <laughs> I'll uh, put up my outfits there. But yeah, so I love that as a basic outfit, jeans and um, a singlet top and then just throw on any cover that you need depending on your temperature or depending on what kind of modesty you have. You could use that as a t-shirt um, or a long sleeve top if you really want to, but this is for summer. So if it's like Australia where you are, it can get pretty dang hot. So I want to accommodate for the actual temperature while also maintaining a level of modesty or coverage. The second outfit idea is a classic in Christian circles for women and that's the good old maxi skirt or maxi dress. It's simple, it's easy and it covers everything. So if you have any concerns about length of dress or how much to show or not to show, a good maxi skirt or dress is a safe bet. It's also very flowy so air can get where it needs to if uh, you get really hot or you can twirl around a couple of times and air gets through. Um, I love to wear them with denim jackets because it just like looks really nice but if it's too hot they look good on themselves. I just think they're a great element to have in your wardrobe especially for summer when it gets hot. The next outfit that I can recommend for summer church outfit vibes um, is a skirt and a top and the ones that I've chosen for this is an oversized baggy t-shirt so it's very flowy you can tuck it into the top of the skirt as I have in this video um, and this particular skirt that I've chosen is a tall skirt so it's from the tall section of um, the place that I bought it which gives you a little bit more length I have a long torso and long legs so I naturally have to buy in the tall section anyway but for my skirts in particular I definitely like to make sure that that is in the tall section because skirts are my iffy um, outfit piece. I very rarely wear short skirts um, and if I do I'm very particular about how I wear them and so tall section even if you're short is a great way to go because you get the style but it's just a little bit longer without going wider as well. The next outfit idea for church is the good old overalls. You can't really go wrong if you have long or short overalls. It's They're just comfy, they're baggy, they're great. You can wear whatever kind of top underneath. I obviously in this one chose this black t-shirt. You have the length which you can alter so if you want it longer that's totally fine too which is what I like most about um, these sorts of overalls is you can adjust it to your kind of liking um, not just for fit but also for coverage I don't think you can fault an overall um, so I'm a big fan especially in the summer and the last outfit that I have for this video is the good old dress just a summer flowy dress the one that I have here is obviously above the knees what I like to do with dresses of this kind of length or above the knee dresses is to make sure that I wear bike shorts underneath I mean I do that just in general for my own comfortability but it's also a great great way to maintain um, coverage and decorum and potential modesty as well 
um, is to make sure that you kind of feel secure in what you're wearing and if you bend over or the wind comes you're not going to be showing things that you don't want to show. Another great outfit idea for going to church is wearing Jesus merch and what I mean by that is wearing clothing that has either bible verses on them or has a reference to your faith or christianity in some way i have a couple of those and i love wearing them you know out and about in my life but i think it's fun when you get to wear them to church and kind of yeah just it's it's a way of worship i i kind of see using your fashion in expressing your love for god that's kind of how i see it and it's also an evangelical opportunity for people to ask questions about what your top's about but obviously if you're at church most chances are people already know jesus but if they don't it's still a great way to spark that conversation so i just want to show a couple of the pieces that i have that are Jesus merch, as I call it. I'm not sure if any of these are still available, but maybe it will give you an idea of the kinds of things that you can wear. I guess sometimes Christian clothing can get a bit of a bad rap um, and look a little bit childlike. Um, so I like finding kind of modern sleek versions of Jesus merch that you can kind of use in all sorts of fashion styles. The first one is just a simple black tee. So you could literally swap this outfit with this top and it would have the same effect fashion wise, but this has a Bible verse on it. So it says, oh, I can't remember the verse, but it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. I want to say that that's a 2 Timothy Bible verse, but I can't quite remember. I'm sure I'll look it up and put it on the screen now. So the next one is actually really great for summer because it's a singlet top and it says love never fails right here. Um, a quote obviously from Paul in Corinthians, I believe. Um, this was a merch collab with Jess Conti from a couple of years ago. Um, I normally like to wear this with slight underlayer or with a jacket over the top because of the wide armholes, but it's still definitely a great way to something that you can wear to church and um, still be cool in the summer. My favorite type of Jesus merch is jumpers because you can wear them and not worry about it at all. And be warm in the winter but this is for summer but it gets cold sometimes it's summer at night time so this is my newest edition I've shown this in a video recently whoopsies this is my holy joy one from Milena Cincinnati I think is how you say her name beautiful jumper so sleek subtle the next jumper I have is my Ali Schnacky jumper the chosen and free merch that I got I love this jumper as well and chosen and free can mean a lot of different things for a lot of people and the last one I have is love never fails by Jess and Gabriel Conti they did a merch drop of this as well just a plain white tee but with a subtleness of Jesus in it and I love that I hope these outfit ideas have been helpful in figuring out what you may or may not want to wear to church especially if you're um, wanting to be a little bit more um, conscious of what you're wearing when you go and worship Jesus in a building uh, with your fellow believers. I walk it with modesty it has changed a little bit since growing up so if mine doesn't line up with you that's totally fine. Take it, evolve it into your style and that's totally fine. Give this a big thumbs up and uh, I hope you can subscribe and uh, follow for more videos. I hope you have a great rest of your day and don't forget to hug someone today. Bye!